you can now play as Gunter Steiner in the F122 game. Yes, you heard that right. Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video here on the channel where we're checking out a mod that replaces David Tonitza as uh, Gunter Steiner here. And we're going to actually be restarting the 2022 Formula 1 season uh, with Gunter Steiner as Mick Schumacher's teammate. As you guys know, Mazepin, thank goodness, finally got sacked of his ride. And instead of Kevin Magnussen coming in to replace him, well, Gunter Steiner has had to hop on board with the car at a last resort to keep the team alive and he has hopped into this Haas machine here in hopes that he can put up a good effort here on the board in the opening round of the Bahrain GP now as he was ready to go out and make some practice laps here on the track now we're gonna have Gunter mic'd up here on the radio throughout this video so we'll have to wait and see what he has to say about the car etc and let's hope that he's gonna have nothing but a smooth session here to kick off the season in practice now as he would get out on a track what kind of numbers can Gunter Steiner put up here in his first ever race in Formula 1 at a last resort effort to keep Haas in the running here for this season now let's hope for the best now and it wouldn't start off very good though he would actually loop it around and get himself into the gravel pit and actually he would get stuck in the gravel pit here in his opening moments of f1 well, there you heard it already. We had to censor out one thing. The first thing that comes out of his mouth over the radio, we have to bleep it out there. Thank you, Gunter. Now, as you can see him loop it around and in, into the gravel pit, he went. So, uh, you know, a rough start. We would have to get a toe, and that would be the end of practice. So, uh, Gunter got in about, what, two corners of practice. One wasn't even at full speed, and when he tried to go full speed in a slight bend, he was in the gravel. So, we come through into one shot qualifying here uh, with Mr. Gunter Steiner behind the wheel in hopes that he can put up a decent number on the board uh, alongside his teammate and employee of Mick Schumacher. Gunter swerving on the straightaways there. I, I don't know, trying to warm up the tires. I guess he was in a turn one. Then he still managed to miss his apex by just a little bit now. Uh, and it was a, a rough lap for Gunter. He was already in dead last year now, and it did not get any better. You know, fortunately for Gunter, it didn't get much worse because he was already in last, so he couldn't go any further down here on this final lap. But he was unbelievably far off, goes wide out of the final turn, and he's going to come through to cross the line for a miserable, miserable P20. Yeah, Gunter, that's uh, dead last there, uh, P20, by the way. Find out the problem and make progress out of it instead of, this is better. You know, I think we found the problem, and it might not be the car here now, as Mick Schumacher went uh, P13 on the grid, and look at Gunter. He was all the way in dead last, and, well, he was two seconds off of his teammate of uh, Mick Schumacher here. So, I mean, this is going to be a rough race weekend, I'm sure, for Gunter Steiner here now, as we were ready to go. Lights out racing here in the season opener of Bahrain. Hoping for the best from Steiner. Needs some luck on our side, and oh boy, he certainly looks ready to go, doesn't he now, uh, as he waves to the camera there, Mr. Mr. Gunter Steiner is ready to go. Lights out racing here in his first ever race from the Bahrain GP. The formation lap would get underway and, well, it, in typical fashion. I don't know how long I can, can live like this. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can watch this from Gunter now. It's, it's been miserable so far. He pulls up to the grid, ready to go. Lights out from the dead last position here of P20, just behind the Canadian of Lance Stroll and the other Canadian of Nicholas Latifi. Gunter, I would expect, is going to get his elbows out here and take no prisoners today now, as I would be afraid to race against Gunter Steiner. As we are lights out and underway, it's Red Bull and Ferrari up at the front, and Steiner has actually a pretty good start here. This is the best thing he's done all weekend, the most productive thing he's done all weekend behind the wheel of the sauce is going to lunge one off the inside he's going to find himself ahead of Schumacher down into turn one wheel to wheel with the Australian of Ricardo as well as Schumacher on the outside is going to get through there and move up into 13th place now by Gunter Steiner up into 15th place on his first ever Formula 1 start so he just gained five positions there what an absolutely fantastic start right there from Gunter Norris goes wide there in front of him now as he continues to try and now fight wheel to wheel with Ricardo it's Haas in a battle with McLaren Schumacher Norris Steiner Ricardo now now Steiner's going to get the position though. Up in the 14th place he goes now. As you're going to see Schumacher continuously side by side with Lando Norris. You don't want to be side by side though. Up into this corner right here. Uh, especially if you're in Schumacher's position. And Norris is not going to give him any room. He shoves Schumacher off the track. Gunter surely not happy about that. Gunter just calm down there. Just move on. Go do what you got to do. 
couldn't even play a single word that came out of his mouth on that one there. You heard the expletives there where you heard the censorship now as we continue on and, uh, and unfortunately for Lando Norris, I would not want to put the team owner or the team principal in the uh, car behind you after you just shoved his uh, teammate off the circuit here. So I was I was afraid uh, from the pit box here for Lando Norris and actually Lando is running for his life. This is the best I've ever seen him drive when Steiner gets behind him. Up the inside of uh, Leclerc. What's happened to Charles Leclerc? All the way down in 10th place here. About to get passed by Gunter Steiner. Never thought we'd be saying that here. Uh, Gastly there as well in the Alpha Tori in the mix by Lando Norris is on the move. Gunter is on a mission. I think he doesn't care about these positions. He cares about that orange McLaren here now. This is going to be uh, once again on the inside of Leclerc there. Ricardo just behind Vettel as well in the Aston Martin. But Norris continues side by side. Gunter lunges one up the inside uh, of both Gastly and Leclerc and gains the positions. Shoves the Gastly wide. Runs him out of room. He doesn't care at this point. He just wants to go and run down while well, the British driver of Lando Norris here. What DRS open on the front straight away. Gunter Steiner now into the points here and he's going to make a lunge up the inside of Norris here into turn one and he's not even going to try and hit the apex there. He runs the uh, McLaren intentionally wide. Brings Leclerc back into the mix here now who's going to also pass Lando Norris. I don't know if Gunter is quite done yet with Lando Norris there because he certainly hasn't uh, had the same consequence that Schumacher has after that battle with the McLaren earlier on now and here goes the Leclerc trying to go for the pass. He doesn't want anything to do with this and that Ferrari uh, and he's going to get past. Gunter really didn't make it difficult for him but I think he's going to make it a little bit more difficult for Lando Norris here now as he's going to go down into the breaking zone and he goes wide. I think he went intentionally wide right there and sure enough they're going to be side by side on the exit of the corner. Exactly the same position Schumacher was in uh, against Norris and Gunter doesn't even waste any time. Shoves him wide. <laughs> That's Did you got music playing in that car? The stewards are talking to us. You need to calm it down, brother. At the end of the day, the team principal is driving the car. I don't think there's anything we can do here from the pit box now unless he gets disqualified from the session. He goes wide there. Vettel's going to get past and Now, Gunter is just all over the place at this point now. Everything's starting to kind of fall apart here now as you're going to see three wide actually here into the breaking zone with Zhou Guan Yu and Lance Stroll as well and Gunter just goes wide says I'm just going to keep on holding on to my position don't mind me and then actually his first and only pit stop of the day here now as he goes in and it's going to be the hard compound tire going on and actually unfortunately behind the pit wall we made a bit of a mistake everybody goes on to the mediums and they can make it to the end while Gunter's stuck on the hard compound tire so now Gunter he's kind of going to be lacking pace here compared to the rest of of the grid, which is not a position I really wanted to put Gunter in here now. As he goes wide through the S's, he's going to go through the Aramco side. What are we doing? He goes airborne there and he actually saves it. And now he lunges back on the inside as Stroll runs him wide again saying, no, no, I'm holding on to the position. Gunter Steiner's gone absolutely insane at this point now in the about halfway point of this race, continuing to just put it all on the line to hold the Canadian back. I think he just doesn't want to lose the Lance Stroll, I think might be what the situation is now. And by the time the pit cycle ended. Unfortunately, he was down 18th. Now make that 19th because there goes Daniel Ricciardo on the inside because Gunter cannot hit the ranking zone to save his career now, but he has a DRS and he's behind Ricciardo and it looks like he's going to size him up for a lunge up the inside of Ricciardo-esque lunge up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. Runs him wide there. No space given from Gunter Steiner here today under the lights in Bahrain and this season opener now as Ricciardo tries to close in and maybe make a move back up the inside of Gunter and they're going to make contact and Steiner gets turned by the Australian of Ricardo. I don't know where he's, but he can f off. Yeah, just just calm down. He's ahead of you. I can tell you that much. So there you see, Ricardo stick his nose in late, take Gunter out, and Gunter, I would expect, is not very happy here now as I was trying to get in contact with him. Hey, we have a three second time penalty, but hey, is uh, is the car okay, Gunter? What's going on there? Just, I'm getting sick of answering these stupid questions on the race weekend. Okay, Gunter, I mean, kind of putting it uh, straight forward for us here, and suddenly the speed is back in the car, it, coincidentally, when Daniel Ricciardo has shown back up. I think Gunter's on a bit of a mission here now, as Ricciardo is going to try and find his way around Steiner here. Three-second time penalty for us here. All hope is pretty much gone at this point for Steiner now, as Ricciardo's going to try and get ahead here into the braking zone, and Steiner's going to go into him, and going to full send him, and he's going to clean him out into the barrier, and he's going to end Ricciardo's and his own night here in Bahrain. Rain. At least I can do something. <laughs> yeah, 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 at least you can do something, Gunter. They want a word with you. 
Gunter Steiner just committed a crime right there. I mean, absolute mayhem. He just caused there into the breaking zone on Ricardo. And that's the, the quick beginning and end of Gunter Steiner's Formula One uh, career here in F122. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. This is an absolute blast to make this video. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for us. It wasn't meant to be for Gunter Steiner in F1. His temper got the best of him. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.